Hello everyone and welcome to another Halo Sees It review. Today I'm reviewing Imagine by Game Right Games. It is three to eight players, ages 12 and up. And the first thing that you will notice right off the bat with this game is that this is a game full of these transparent cards. And uh, there is quite a few of these. And uh, we'll get into uh, how we utilize these in just a second. But basically this is a, a, a party style game where similar to Pictionary, uh, one is given a word or a action or something like that. And you are trying to get the other players to guess what uh, word that you got to try to portray to them. Um, they call them enigmas in this game. And uh, so basically, instead of relying on your own skills to draw or act out uh, the thing or place or action, uh, you will be utilizing just the cards given to you. Uh, the fun thing about it is that they are transparent cards and uh, so we'll get into that in a little bit. This is a, a fantastic game. I really enjoy the, the uh, thought and the idea of it and it uh, works really really well. Um, so let me just show you the box here. Is, uh, it's not a big box. It's a good uh, good size box and inside it has a little uh, insert here and you have basically two different decks you have this huge huge deck of cards uh, that give you uh, all the different things that you're going to try to create and then of course you have a huge uh, variety of these transparent uh, cards that you will use to have the people guess. Uh, they fit in the insert perfectly. It's great. Uh, and then you have these nice little uh, uh, markers in here. Uh, they're really pretty good thickness, very good quality uh, to them. You got a ton of these one pointers and then a few three points uh, just to consolidate if you're going for longer, longer games. Um, but the, the uh, gameplay and everything of this is very, very simple. And the rule book does a great job explaining it. Um, can't be too hard to screw up a, such a simple game. Um, and the rule book does, just does a great job. Uh, the one thing that I will say, so uh, if you notice off the bat, uh, in order to have and utilize these cards, um, and to know what you have, you need to have them all spread out on the table so that you can see uh, what your options are. Um, so these are all the cards. So this is about all the space that you will need, but it does take up you know, a good portion of the, the table here. So you'll have to have room to spread these all out. I, get, I mean, Technically, you know, you could have them all in one little stack of a deck of cards, but that person would have to filter through and it would make it much more difficult to play. So uh, it, it suggests this kind of circle lay, layout here. And um, that's pretty much it. So you have 61 transparent cards and 65 of these Enigma cards. And you have tons and tons of different words to go with here. Um, eight on each side so it's double-sided lots and lots of variety you have objects and different things like that and on the person's turn you give the top clue so you could say event and then you would go and try to uh, create some picture that would uh, remind people of the Olympic Games and during the game you can animate these objects so you can like have this coming in and you can move the cards to animate them but you can't uh, say anything or really you know mime something with your hands or anything like that um, you can cover things up like in this example here if you just want to utilize one of these little uh, top hat things you can cover the other one so you can cover portions of the card um, so here's some fun examples here there's this piece here and there 
you can put them together. You have a dancer, this one, you're covering that up, but you're also pointing to that. I mean, that's the hat. Um, so lots of different things that you can do um, with these cards. And really, the game, the person who's uh, portraying the Enigma, uh, as soon as one person guesses it correctly, uh, that person gets one point, and the person who guessed it correctly first gets one point. And um, yeah, that's the game. It is really, really fun. Um, my uh, five-year-old has also kind of played this um, with the help of others, but she's, I've been really amazed at how quickly she can kind of grasp the aspect. So we let her choose the word, kind of help her give her one, um, like snowman. And she immediately went for the circles and, you know, stacked them all up and made a snowman. Um, so it's, it's really, really cool. And it's interesting the fact that you have just this set of cards to describe all of these different things. I mean, this is tons and tons of cards, double-sided. And not only that, but if you want, you guys can create your own words and put them in a hat or whatever you want to do. So, I mean, just really, really fun. And so I'll just do an example here. I kind of created this uh, just quickly before this video, so kid-friendly. And then I grabbed these cards here. And the very simple one, and I don't know if everyone would get it, but I would have this, and I'd just move it over there. I'm hoping that people would get Pokemon in that. And maybe I'd have it, you know, if they aren't getting it, maybe I'd have it burst open or something like that, or maybe get another animal or something and have them battle or something like that. But that would be my initial kind of start is to have this be this little pokeball and if they can't you know see that very well maybe I'd use this circle here instead to encapsulate the Pokemon um, anyway so very 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 fun game um, I highly recommend it if you're looking for uh, one of those guessing party uh, style games for something new um, you know the there's been some other transparent card games and you have uh, Mystic Veil it has been kind of a lot a lot of buzz right now as well um, so I hope Imagine uh, doesn't get lost in all of this it is a fantastic party game and that is how Lou sees it